we're doing problem 14, 1418 from the fundamentals of chapter 14. And if you were able to get through the last three problems, this is going to be a piece of cake for you. So if you're brand new, I would recommend watching the video, the whole video. If you've already had, uh, you've been doing the, the last few problems, um, you know, pause the video, try to set it up on your own, and then on pause and, and see if, you, if you're doing it correctly. You know, verify your work. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So again, we're doing conservation of energy here. Um, we have uh, four kilogram collar C has a velocity of V A uh, of two meters per second at point A. Okay, when yeah, when I do the A, if the guide rod is smooth, so no friction, determine the speed of the collar when it is at B. The spring has an unstretched length of L naught equals 0.2. So you know, first thing I want you guys to do is determine where you want to put your zero potential line, okay? If you put it here, that's going to work just great because that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to say that this is equal to zero, okay? And then it has a velocity at A, so it means my initial, my, my initial uh, state, state A, is going to have... Um, uh, potential and it's also going to have uh, kinetic energy all right and it's also going to have so it has uh, potential energy you know by gravity right it has kinetic energy at point A and we're also going to have potential energy at A done by the spring all right so I'm going to do it all in one line I'm going to say, okay, my initially my kinetic energy is one half mva squared. Let's do the potential energy terms now, plus mass times gravity, so the weight times the height that's above the zero potential line. So in this case, this this drawing is a bit confusing, but um, you know the radius of curvature of this pipe is 0.4 okay so it's not you know it's not 0.4 plus 0.1 okay it's just 0.4 which tells us a lot about this problem it means the height the total height above the zero potential line is just 0.4 the radius of that so height of a plus Let's add up our spring potential, one half k. This will be uh, L a minus L naught squared. Okay, so this is state a. Okay, and all this has to equal the kinetic energy at point B. Right, plus the potential energy, gravitational potential energy at height b, uh, state b, sorry, at position b, times one half k, the length of the spring at b minus its initial length. Okay, and those two have to equal each other. All right, so let's plug in some numbers now. So let's let's see if gosh, I wish. They didn't have a K here because we could just get rid of the M's. Anyway, so let's just start plugging in numbers. So, I don't know, let's pick fuchsia. We're going to have one half. We're going to, we're doing, we're starting with this right here. And also note that because I set my, my zero potential at B, my potential energy here is zero. Okay. So let's, let's start with, uh, this top equation. So one half mass times the velocity at A squared plus the mass times gravity times the height at A which is just 0.4 plus one half uh, K, which is 400, 
the length of A, it's, it's actually compressed initially, but that won't matter because, um, you know, we don't, we don't worry about the negative symbol because it's going to be a square, we're squaring it, so it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, um, but you do have to make sure that you do get the compressed length correctly. 0.1 minus 0.2, remember L0 is 0.2 meters squared. All this is going to be equal to one half times the mass, right? Times the velocity b squared, which that's what this is what we're looking for, plus one half k times lb. So lb. <coughs> this is kind of where the where the problem tries to throw you a little curveball, but we're better than that. We're better than the we're better than the book. We're trying to find the length of the spring here. Okay. We know that this forms a triangle, so with some geometry we can actually get this, right? So we know that this is 0.4 minus 0.1. Right? And this is 0.4. And remember if you guys have seen a lot of my statics videos. We I always say just learn to just recognize the three four five triangle because it just always pops up everywhere. This is a three four five triangle, so we know that the length of this side of the triangle is going to be 0.5. Right? It could be 30, 40, 50. It could be. Um, it has to be. Yeah, I guess like more uh, factors of each each of these. So it could be nine. Um, 936.45, I guess. All right, this has to be, um, uh, the ratios have to be the same. All right, so 345 triangle. So I know my length B. So the length of the spring at point B is actually 0.5 minus the initial length, which is 0.2 squared. If you guys want to do this out, you can say, okay, length of B is going to be equal to, you know, Pythagorean theorem there. So it's 0 0.3 squared plus 0 0.4 squared, and you should end up with 0 0.5. Okay. Anyways, let's let's uh, crunch the numbers here. So on the left hand side, so all of this equals. 25.696 equals 2vb squared plus 18. Okay, isolating vb, right, we should end up with 1.96 meters per second. All right, and that's it. And that's the end of that problem. Uh, so this one, surprisingly, this one's like pretty easy once we've done uh, 14, 16, and 15, 14, 15, and 14, 16, and had some springs. So if you can get through those, now nah, this is just a piece of cake, right? Um, but yeah, uh, just a quick recap, you know, what are all my energy to state A? You know, list them all out, even if, even if there wasn't a spring, still list it out and then just cross it off once you begin to write down the, the, the conservation of energy equation, all right? Um, and then, you know, all the, the total energy at A has to be equal to all the energies at B, and then from there we just gotta solve for what they're asking us for. But that's, you know, that, this was pretty simple. Uh, I think this concludes the chapter. I'll see you guys at chapter 15. Where we're gonna be doing collisions, I assume, and all that fun stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for your time and attention. Uh, if you like the video, just give it a like. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you have comments, questions, concerns, just drop them down below, and I'll be, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to get back to you guys promptly. Thanks, guys. See you guys.